Hey guys, it's Art Weston. I'm gonna be testing the braking strength of Seagar's thread lock in the 60 pound variety. This is a 16 strand hollow core line. Um, what's interesting about hollow core is you can uh, embed it into itself to create a loop. Um, and that loop can act as your connection to your lures or hooks. Um, or you can embed leader material like monofilament to fluorocarbon into the loop and a, and a phrase called serving it, which then affixes it. So there's a no knot connection between your leader and your backing. Um, I like it uh, for its, its uh, strength because that loop uh, provides 100% of the line's absolute breaking strength uh, to your uh, lure or your hook. Um, it's a less popular uh, you know, application. Most people use it for wind on leaders uh, and the like, um, but I like to use it as straight up braid for my typical braided fishing si situations. Now, um, Seaguar's thread lock uh, was my favorite because it came in green. Um, as you can see, it's a large spool, so I tried to buy up some of the dwindling supply of green because they've discontinued that color. Uh, they have white and blue that's still being marketed and um, it has uh, numerous different advertised uh, classes. I think the thinnest is 50 pound, and then 60, then 80, then 100, um, and it goes all the way up, I think, to 200. So um, braided line, as people know, typically is very conservative in its breaking strength. So this 60 pound, I don't know, I might guess it breaks at 80. Um, I haven't tried it yet. So I've got it set up on the gauge here. It's on peak. Tension, let's see how it does. Okay, 87 pounds. So that's close-ish to what I would have expected. Um, it's a, you know, a line that, like I said, I'm pretty interested in because I do like hollow core. Uh, but again, unfortunately, it doesn't come in green, and I like to fish a lot of river systems, so green is my preferred color. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you, guys.